Bismillahirrahmanirrahim In the last lecture we learned about Hamming code decoding how it is done an example of Hamming code as well where we have decoded a received uh, message code word now we are going to we have to understand what is the relationship between uh, error detection and correction in order to understand that first of all we need to understand Hamming distance now in order to understand Hamming distance first of all we need to understand redundant words let's look at slide number 53 these invalid words over here are called redundant words as well as we can see that to make the code word for these information bits we have selected the, wor uh, the words from these 4 bit words which give us even parity so all the words having odd number of ones are redundant words or invalid words this is the this is the invalid word or redundant word which gives a strength of error detection and for odd parity the select the code words are the one uh, are the uh, words which have odd number of ones and invalid or redundant words are those which have even number of ones the the invalid words in that table are called redundant words as well from this table From this table, we understand that if we increase the parity check bits, then redundancy is also increased. That is, the number of number of invalid words also increases. Increase in the redundant words or invalid words increases the error control capability of the code. But as we increase the number of parity bits, we increase the requirement of bandwidth to transmit that same information bits as well that is if we add one parity bit for a three parity three bit information symbol that is i1 i2 i3 p1 then it will require less transmission bit bandwidth than the same symbol having two parity bits i1 i2 i3 p1 p2 so the important point which is made over here is that by increasing the redundant words uh, redundant words we increase the capability of uh, detection uh, of the code word as well but in order to increase that capability we need to increase the number of parity bits or redundant words how do we in increase our num uh, re redundant uh, words by increasing the parity bits as you can see over here for example here we said that three bits are information bits and this one word is parity bits so this is a four bit four bit code word but if we want to increase the redundancy because for this one the only uh, redundant the only possible eight uh, redundant words are eight because the total words in this four bit words is 16 so eight code words and eight eight uh, invalid words or redu redundant words but if we want to have more invalid words or redundant words then it means we have to make it 5 bit word in order to make it 5 bit it means we have to add 2 parity bits then we will have uh, 8 code words and uh, 16 and 8 24 invalid code uh, invalid words or redundant words and that will increase the uh, uh, error control capability of the code word uh, as well but if we increase the number of bits it means that we need the uh, bandwidth required for the transmission of that code word increases as well so there is uh, a, a very important relationship between the number of parity bits or the length of the code word and the bandwidth required for transmission now what is Hamming distance the weight first of all what is uh, Hamming weight the Hamming weight of a word 
v is defined as the number of ones in v and is denoted by w v so it, hamming weight is nothing but for example if i have got a binary word then how many ones are there in that word uh, that symbol binary symbol is called hamming weight for example hamming weight for this v1 is equal to 3 because there are three ones 1 2 3 hamming weight of this is 2 1 and 1 2 For this one, 1, 2, 3, that Hamming weight is 3. For this one, 1, 2, Hamming weight is 2, and so forth. So, Hamming distance is the modulo to addition of two code words, and the number of ones or Hamming weight of the result is the Hamming distance between the two code words. <coughs> now, how do we calculate Hamming distance? Hamming, we simply uh, add the two code words using modulo to addition and in the resultant in the result we count the uh, number of ones or we uh, determine having weight so whatever the having weight is or the number of ones in the resultant code word is our or resultant uh, word is are called is called its having distance so having weights are uh, 3 and 2 for these code words for this one it is 3 and for this one it is 2 and having distance is 3 between these two code words the having distance is 3 so in 3 bits they differ from each other the main purpose of uh, to find having distance is to know the error detection and correction capability of s a set of code words so Hamming distance actually uh, help us in determining the error detection and correction capability of a code word. In order to de uh, 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 determine the error detection and correction capa capability of code words, we need to find Hamming distance. And how it is used, we will see in the next slides. Minimum Hamming distance. Minimum Hamming distance is the D minimum of a block code is the smallest distance between all the code words for example let's consider 4 comma 3 block code there are 8 code words in that block code so we have to check Hamming distance of each code word with all the other code words as shown in the next slide and the D minimum will be the distance which is minimum we have seen this even parity code word in slide number 53 as, as I have shown you uh, a few moments ago as well and the uh, what we have to we are trying to do is that uh, find the minimum Hamming uh, distance in this set of code words. <coughs> this is a four comma three block code. So, what we do is that first of all we will uh, find modulo two addition of zero 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 with all the other codes. Uh, first of all, zero 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 is uh, added with this zero 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 then it is added with this one this one this one this one this one and like this keeps going on like this so after finding the modulo to addition of all the code words with each other what we find is that the minimum number in this whole chart which we can see is two there is no number less than two zero of course uh, cannot be the uh, Hamming distance but we have to find non-zero number so non-zero number over here is 2 so the Hamming distance of uh, minimum Hamming distance of uh, 4.3 block code is 2 in the in the previous slide we can see that 2 is the minimum distance the error detection capability of any block code is L is equal to d minimum minus one so first once we have determined the uh, d minimum of any block code we can and uh, we can uh, determine its detection capability De uh, detection capability is me means that the maximum number of bits it can detect uh, if they are received in error having error hence for four comma three block code l is equal to two minus one is equal to one it means uh, this code word cannot detect uh, errors more than one it can detect only one error if we want to uh, if we believe if we this is what it gives us that how many errors it can detect the error correction capability of any block code is 
t is equal to d minimum minus 1 divided by 2 or t is equal to l divided by, divided by 2. Hence for 4 comma 3 block code t is equal to 2 minus 1 divided by 2 is equal to half. Means no error correction capability because half bit correction is not possible. Uh, the number must be uh, uh, greater than 0 and uh, it must be an integer. So the minimum number is 1. So here it gives us a half which is of course not possible we cannot correct a, a half bit so uh, it means there is no error correction capability in 4 comma 3 block code we also established that error correction capability of an error code will always be less than error detection capability as t is equal to l by 2 from this you can see that this is uh, uh, over here t is equal to half of uh, L uh, t is equal to L by 2. So if whatever the error detection capability is, we make it half and then that is the error uh, correction capability of that code. So the error correction capability is always less than error detection capability. Suppose L is equal to 5 then t is equal to 5 by 2 is equal to 2.5 but since we cannot correct fraction of a bit therefore t is equal to 2 since this gives us the ma maximum number 2.5 so if we cannot round it off to 3 bits because more than 2.5 bits it cannot correct but of course 0.5 bits correction is also not possible so it cannot correct more than 2 bits now what is complete decoding and bounded distance decoding a complete decoder is a decoder that does not attempt error detection without correction it means that if it detects two bits of error then it correct two bits of error as well a decoder uh, it means that cor and as many number of bits it can correct it detects them as well if it detects two bits then it will correct two bits it will if it detects uh, three uh, bit error then it will correct these three bit errors a bounded distance decoder attempts to correct the number of bits limited by t is equal to d minimum minus 1 divided by 2 and detects errors with decoding failure. For example, we have got a code which has got uh, uh, error detection capability of 2 bits and error correction capability of 1 bit. So if there is an error of uh, 2 bits, of course it cannot correct the 2 bits, so a decoding failure will occur. Now what is a decoding failure? Decoding failure does not mean decoding error, but it can be viewed as a form of error detection. The decoder recommends that the block to be retransmitted in this case. What happens is that if it detects there are two errors, but of course its error correction capability is limited to one, so it will uh, ask the uh, transmitter to retransmit the block because it has detected the uh, error, but it cannot correct it because its correct correction capability is limited to only one bit. So uh, decoding failure doesn't mean that uh, uh, this is a uh, decoding error as well. Decoding failure occurs when errors are detected but cannot be corrected. Suppose there is a code which can detect two errors but can only uh, but only one error can but can correct only one error. If one error occurs then that can be corrected and decoding is success successful but two errors occur then they cannot be corrected and decoding failure occurs. Let's consider 7 comma 4 Hamming code. 7 comma 4 Hamming code D for 7 comma 4 Hamming code D minimum is equal to 3. Hence error detection capability that is L is 2 and error correction capability is 1. But this capability of double error detection uh, detection single error correction cannot be carried out jointly. This is a problem that, that we cannot carry out these two functions uh, simultaneously. A block code with minimum distance d minimum can jointly correct and detect errors providing uh, t prime plus t l prime is less than or equal to d minimum minus 1 where l prime is greater than t prime. On the next sli uh, slide values on the next slide values for t and l are shown for d minimum is equal to 1 to 7 for each value of t prime the value of l prime gives the maximum number of errors that can be detected excluding error pattern with t prime for odd d minimum 
that is 1, 3, 5 and 7 if maximum number of correction capability is assumed and error detection is not possible. For uh, odd uh, D minimum, that is 1, 3, 5, and 7, if maximum number of correction capab capabilities assumed, then error detection is not possible. But for even D minimum, that is 2, comma 4, and 6, uh, L prime is equal to L minus T prime. Look over here. For example, for let's start from uh, this 3, D minimum is equal to 3. As you can see over here, this is an odd D minimum. As we have said, if the D minimum is odd, then if we and its maximum uh, error correction capability is 1, and if we are taking maximum error correction capability, then it has got no error detection capability at all. This is what this is statement says over here. And if we assume it has got 2-bit uh, error detection capability then it has got no error correction capability at all but for even number of uh, but uh, if the D minimum is even then in that case what happens is that if we assume that T prime is the or the max uh, maximum number of corrections we assume then it is just simply the subtraction subtracting this value from D minimum over D min uh, L D minimum minus 1 from this value so 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 and if we are assuming it has got no error uh, correction capability then of course it can decode all the three bits which is the maximum error detection capability over here suppose again the D minimum is 5 if uh, we are and it has got error ca uh, correction capability of 2 errors at a time if we are assuming that the decoder is capable of uh, uh, correcting two errors at a time then it has got no error detection capability at all but if you assume it has got one error uh, correction capability uh, then it has got four minus one three uh, error detection uh, three error uh, detection capability it can uh, detect up to three errors and if it, if it has got no error correction capability then it can detect up to four errors in that code word but uh, there is one subtle point over here that of course we start from the maximum number of correction which uh, are offered by this code word from here we started from one from here one here two here two and here three why because it cannot correct more than three errors anyhow because this is the maximum limit of the number of er uh, errors this code word can correct so for if we look for it uh, uh, for d minimum is equal to 6 in that case uh, we start with the maximum that is 2 so 2 minus 5 is equal to 3 it can detect two errors and correct uh, it can uh, correct two errors and detect three errors uh, and this one can correct one error and can detect up to four errors and this one detects corrects no errors and detects five errors so and so on so this is how this is the relationship between error detection and correction for a uh, block code or hemming code